everyone. My name is Lisa Loney and I'm the Carolyn Air for today. It is an absolute joy to be back at Longwood Gardens, back on the Carillon after such a long silent period during the pandemic. I'm coming to you today from the Chime Tower about uh, 20 or 30 feet up in the air. And what we're going to do today is play a little and talk a little. I'm going to introduce the instrument to you, tell you about its history here at Longwood and its tenure, and also a little bit of information about carillons in general. So if you look at the carillon, the keyboard here, it looks like a piano keyboard, white keys and black keys, white keys and black keys. And then at the bottom, I also have pedals of two octaves, which are replicated in the batons, and you can see them moving. Once the bells are tuned in the foundry, they don't go out of tune for hundreds and hundreds of years. The only adjustment I can make is actually to the stainless steel, which expands and constricts with the weather. If it's too tight, it's going to sound like this. Kind of like a hammer against a piece of metal. But when I lengthen this 30 seconds of an inch, I get the sweet spot exactly where I want. There are 62 bells in this carillon at Longwood Gardens. The largest one, which is called the Borden, is 6,900 pounds, and it sounds a like B flat. The smallest one up here, which is C, is only 20 pounds. Combined weight above my head is about 55,000 pounds, or 38,000 pounds of metal on 17,000 pounds of steel. I'm going to talk a little bit more later about how to play the carillon and some of the particulars here at Longwood Gardens, but the first piece is going to involve you. It's a musical ugesum. It's a piece of music that is well known, not for its um, compositional um, uh, style, but because it's a, associated with a commercial from a couple of years ago. So your job is to think about the commercial and what the product was that they're selling. And I'll give you a hint. It's a girl's best friend.
Any guesses? Well, if you guess the De Beers Diamond Company, and now this song is called The Diamond Song, You Got It Right. The next two pieces I'm going to play are actually Carillon compositions, and they are written by women. I think this year and last year, a lot of people in the music world are, are zeroing in on minority com composers, and women certainly fit that. The first piece I'm going to play is called Dance of the Tower Bells, and it's written by Lisa Jansen. She's a carolineer from Belgium. She plays in Antwerp and in Lear. Enjoy Dance of the Tower Bells. I'm going to demonstrate some different kinds of techniques on the caroline, namely how to get loud and soft, and just this forward piece of motion, I think you'll enjoy. Dance of the Tower Bells. The next piece I'm going to play is also by a, a female composer. 
It's called Tango, and it's actually written by award-winning percussionist Alice Gomez from San Antonio, Texas. Since the carillon and bells are a percussive instrument, I think the compositional learning curve for Alice Gomez is pretty flat. She has composed a number of pieces for the carillon, and this one is one of my favorite. It is written in an Argentinian tango style. Again, tango. As I just demonstrated, when we play the carillon, it's a completely manual operation. There are no pneumatics, there's no electronics in this part of it. I operate and activate the clapper that's in the middle of the bell. And if you notice, the clapper is actually not hung dead in the middle, but kind of like off. And it's only about that far from the lip of the bell. What you see on the outside is called the striker, and that's for the automatic play, and that's controlled in this computer box back here. And if you come to Longwood Gardens, you will see and hear that automatic being played throughout the day. One of the unique features of Longwood Gardens Caroline is its location. It's in a very public space. 
What is also very unique to Longwood is you, the listener on the ground. You're transient. You're walking around, you're looking at the flowers, smelling things, talking to each other. You're taking in all that Longwood has to offer. My job as the carolineer is to musically, maybe metaphorically, reach down from the tower, tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, do you know this piece I'm playing or do you like what I'm having to say from the tower? One way for me to do that is to play music that might be familiar to you or to uh, pop music or something like that. So the next set of music actually I pulled from Super Bowl halftime shows. The first one is called Blinding Lights from the Weekend, and that was premiered at the 2021 Super Bowl. That arrangement was from Joey Brink. Joey Brink is a carolineer from the University of Chicago. He plays the Rockefeller Caroline. Now, whereas our board and bell here at Longwood is six to 900 pounds, his is in the area of 30,000 pounds. It's an enormous instrument. The next piece in our retakes of Super Bowl headline shows is actually from Sting. And it's called Fields of Gold. You'll recognize it, I hope. And I like just to make a fast shout out dedication to my friend Emily Given, who is going to be starting a new job in a new place. And I wish her all the best and may her gardens always be fields of gold.
And now just a little bit of history about the carillon. The carillon as a musical instrument has its origins over 500 years ago in northern France, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Prior to that, the bells were played on a big drum, kind of like a music box. The wealth of the outward expression of wealth and prosperity of a medieval town was the number of bells and the quality of bells. Here in North America, and specifically in Pennsylvania, we have 10 manually played carillons, two of which, Longwood and Church of the Holy Trinity on Rittenhouse Square, also were played manually as well as automatically. In fact, the one on Rittenhouse Square is the oldest carillon in North America. It was dedicated in 1892. And I can't forget New Jersey, you've got four carillons. Coming up this week is the 20th anniversary of this Caroline's dedication here at Longwood Gardens, May 28, 2001. So there's an awful lot to celebrate today. The next category of music is actually kind of from my youth. I love Billy Joel. And I grew up with Billy Joel. And I think his music is timeless, and it's not surprising that he can still fill a stadium, even going solo of over 50 years ago. These are two of my favorite pieces that I arranged. First is, she's always a woman to me.
Et des grâces au Père aussi, lui, c'est ça. And the last piece uh, in this segment is the piano man. You cannot do a Billy Joel without the piano. I hope you enjoyed this Carillon concert and a little bit more information about the Carillon. There will be more videos and more Carillon concerts with my colleagues from the area, as well as some visiting Carillonians that are coming from Philadelphia. So thank you very much. <laughs>